to all of you. In today's session, we are going to discuss about intermediate chemistry. We'll be fetching for your international entrance examination or any competitive exam you are preparing for. Uh, India level JE advanced and JE mains for IET and NIT entrance examination for engineering stream. In case of uh, need chemistry for medical entrance examination across India, and uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh MCT examination for technical stream. In addition to all these, if you are aspiring for any government examination in that, general studies paper will be there. The content general science, what we are discussing will be very much helpful for you. Let's enter into our today's session. Explain the name of following compound as per the IUPAC protocol. Here, cyclohexane with the old head side chain will be there. We need to assign the name for this in order to name this, being it is the ring one, so that cyclic cyclo will be the prefix. And after that, six membered ring. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbon atoms are there in the annular or ring structure, so that we can say cyclohexane. And whatever aldehyde is there, that is regarded as a carbaldehyde, so that cyclohexane carbaldehyde is the IUPAC name of the compound. So for compound uh, question number one, what we can say cyclohexane carbaldehyde, right? Move on to question number two. Question number two is collected from Cambridge Assessment International Education. Which row correctly matches the experiment and observation to the identity of the underlined substance? Experiments are provided. Identity of the underlined substance are provided. Blue crystal are heated. Crystal turned into white color so that steam is given up. So initially anhydrous, sorry, initially hydrated. After the crystallization, it will become anhydrous compound because steam is evolved. So that so hydrated one must be blue, uh, anhydrous one must be white. They mentioned that hydrated cobalt chloride. Whether it is correct or not, let's see. Cobalt chloride anhydrous is blue. Hydrated one is pink color. So that what they mentioned, hydrated blue, anhydrous white, that is reverse. Reverse here, you can clearly see cobalt chloride, anhydrous one, without water it will be blue color. Six water molecules, if present with that, cobalt chloride six water, that is hydrated one. Hydrated one is uh, here purple color. Okay, here purple color so that the what they are mentioned in the first option is wrong. Pink crystals are heated, crystal turn to blue, steam is given up. So pink crystals are heated. So pink crystals are heated. This is the one we are heating hydrated so that it correct only. Then crystals turn to blue color. After heating, whenever water removed so that it will be turned into blue color, that is perfectly correct. But what they mentioned, anhydrous cobalt chloride. Anhydrous cobalt chloride. But pink crystals belongs to hydrated, no. They are saying that anhydrous cobalt chloride, that is also wrong. Water is added to blue solid. So water is added to blue solid. Blue solid turned into pink. Whenever, in case of uh, copper sulfate, Hydrated one will be blue color, anhydrous one will be white color. But what they are saying, in case of copper sulfate, uh, hydrated one will be blue color, anhydrous one will be pink color. They said, this is also wrong. H up to half of the hydrated one blue color correct only, but this is wrong one. So here, C option wrong. If you go with the D option, water is added to white solid, the white solid turned to blue. White solid is anhydrous. When water is added, that turned into blue color because hydrated one is blue color. So in the option number four, what they are saying is exactly correct for anhydrous copper sulfate. This is the perfect answer we can say. For question number two, option number D will be the correct answer. Anhydrous copper sulfate, if you see, that is white in color. If water added, turned into blue color, that is hydrated one. For question number two, option number D is the correct answer. This is regarding what? Crystallinity and its relation with the 
uh, colors whenever hydrated anhydrous compounds are present. Move on to question number three. It is collected from JE Advanced 2020 question paper. Paper two question it will be, right? Choose the correct statements from the following. So whatever mentioned A, B, C, D, from that you have to select which are correct answers. SNCl2 to 2H2O is a reducing agent. SNCl2 to 2H2O is the reducing agent. It is correct only. SNO2 reacts with potassium hydroxide to form K2SNOH taken 6. This is also correct. So remaining are wrong. Let's see how can we explain. SN plus 2 is a good reducing agent and itself it oxidized into plus 4 so that it is the reducing agent. So SNCl2 is the reducing agent is correct only. SNO2 react with KOH to form K2SNOH taken 6. Right, because of its amphoteric nature, amphoteric means what it can be reacted with base, it can be reacted with acid as well. So, that being amphoteric can be treated conveniently with base, and there is a kind of complex formation we can notice. Lead chloride hydrochloric acid contains a Pb plus 2 and Cl minus. Whenever lead chloride is added with hydrochloric acid. Uh, resulting solution contains Pb plus 2 and Cl minus, they are same. But whenever lead chloride added with chloride ions, lead tetrachloride ion will be formed rather than Pb plus 2. This is the complete ion. We can't further ionize this, being it is a complex. Itself, it is the ion only, anion like this. So this is the possibility, not Pb plus 2 and Cl minus. Reaction of Pb3O4 with the nitric acid to give lead oxide. Only they are saying lead oxide, but nitric acid when treated, we will get a lead nitrate as well. In either product also possible, they are not saying that product. Only lead oxide they, they are producing, so it is also wrong. A is correct, B is correct. SNCl2 is a reducing agent and SNO2 will react with KOH. Both are correct answers. A, B are correct answers. For question number three, A is correct, B is also correct. Move on to question number four. Question number four is collected from organic chemistry and it is the comparative study, comparative basicity of amines. So we are taking aromatic amines in all the cases based on its uh, other steric factors, other orientations, other substitutions, how its basicity varied can be compared over here in order to compare what we are taking the order of basicity is 2, 1, 3 and 4 is least they are saying but it is not the correct order. The magnitude of pkb difference between first and second is more than that of 3 and 4. Resonance effect is more in 3 than in 4. So 3 is having more resonance effect in comparison with the 4. Steric effect makes a compound for more basic than three. So steric factor in place in order to make a stronger base for uh, compound number four rather than three, right? So CD, what they are explaining is perfectly correct. A, B are absolutely wrong. Let's see how can we explain this answer. In order to explain, uh, highest basic one will be four, later on two. But they are saying two is la highest Four is least, but four must be higher so that we can cancel out option A. Magnitude of PKB difference between one to more than three, four. Here, four is strongest base due to uh, steric inhibition resonance effect. Okay, so here, this is the factor why four is more basic in nature. And four is found to be 40,000 ti 40, times more basic than three while 1, 2 differs in very little basic strength. If you compare the basic strength of 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 4 is more basic. How much? 40,000 times more basic in comparison with the compound number 3. But among 1 and 2, that extent difference may not be present. But in the option number B, what they are saying, PKB difference between 1, 2 is greater in comparison with 3, 4. But 3, 4 is greater. 3, 4 difference is greater. 4 is 40,000 greater than 3 in, in terms of its basic strength. So that we can go with the uh, cancellation of B option as well. Resonance effect is more in 3 than 4. So if you see here, 
being nitro or electron withdrawing, there is a direct resonance of electrons present in the nitrogen towards the ring. So that resonance plays a vital role in order to be uh, what in order to make uh, least basic the compound number three, right? So that resonance plays a vital role. But in case of this one, in addition to resonance effect, we have another uh, called a hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation plays a role over here in order to release the electrons in order to make this more basic in nature. So that here hyperconjugation plays a vital role. Here resonance effect will be more. So that option C is a correct only. Uh, in CD, st steric inhibition resonance effect is three. For both NO2 and NCH3 will be out of plane. Hence, resonance effect is more in 3 than in 4. Okay. So, out of plane effect will be there. So, being uh, this nitrogen is accompanied by methyl, methyl, so that it will go out of the plane. If the nitrogen is out of the plane, what happens? Electrons are not free to resonate, to delocalize. So, that uh, out of the plane, nitrogen difficult to give the electrons to the ring in comparison to this one it is in the plane as well uh, all benzene benzene ring and the adjacent all are in the one particular plane and the nh2 is also in the same one so that electrons are freely given to the ring structure but in case of this one what happens nitrogen in order to make the molecule convenient to uh, inhibit the steric hindrance or uh, this nitrogen somewhat bent and out of the plane, geometry will be assigned so that electrons are not free for mobilization in the resonance form. So that uh, three is having higher resonance effect in comparison to four is the correct answer. Steady effect, effect makes the compound number four more basic. So in compound number four, basic factor is mainly due to what electron release into methyl. So that nitrogen have high electron density rich in electrons so that it will easily reverberate. But in case of this, no such uh, hindrance, no such kind of occupation in the nitrogen. So we can say four is more basic in comparison to three. B is also correct. C, D are perfect answers. A, B are wrong. So what we have answers over here, anterior explanation is also provided. Uh, for question number four, C, D are the correct answers. Move on to question number five. Question number five is also the part of what organic chemistry it is collected from Telangana Gurukulam Degree College Lecturer Entrance Examination. What is the major product in the following reaction? We are taking a cyclo uh, cyclopropene and which is in conjugation with another double bond over here. This is a kind of condensed system we can say. It is a condensed system and treated with the hydrobromic acid. In the presence of hydrobromic acid, simply addition is possible. And here uh, there is a there is a Compete, competitiveness in between uh, endocyclic and exocyclic. Endo means within the ring, exo means outside the ring if double bond is there. Endocyclic double bond is there, exocyclic double bond is there. In comparison to endocyclic double bond, exocyclic double bond is more prone to go for the addition of HBr. Uh, okay, so that HBr will be added preferably on the exocyclic double bonded compound. And uh, there is a question, where to add H plus, where to add Br minus. We have two conditions over there. If Br is added at the, this position, uh, uh, the bridged uh, carbon atom, so you will get uh, uh, bromo on this carbon, and here the hydrogen will be there. So if reverse is the case, bromo will be adding at this junction, and uh, in uh, at the bridge head carbon atom, you can go for H plus. So both the possibilities you can see, this is the case. This is the case possible if bromo is added on these carbons. So this is another case where bromo is added on the bridged carbon atom. And the first and the second mean for the addition of endocyclic double bond. Endocyclic double bond is typically highly hindered. We are not supposed to go for that addition reaction so that we can simply cancel out one and two options both are similar with respect to endocyclic double bond addition and uh, only the computation between exocyclic double bond but where to add h plus where to add br minus matters so whenever you are adding h plus at this carbon atom for example whenever h plus added over here here the generation of carbocation is possible let me see the 
let me show the mechanism whenever carbocation is generated over here this carbocation is called a cyclopropenyl cation this is called what intermediate called cyclopropenyl cation cyclopropenyl cation is highly stable because of resonance uh, being it is an aromatic compound so that it is more preferable over another another reverse kind of addition so that a carbocation uh, stabilized and uh, further addition of br minus over there and formation of br and h plus is possible like this so that this is a preferable compound in order to uh, in order to make the intermediate more stable right this is only the possible option so that we will get the product like this right so uh, in the question number 5 option number 4 will be the correct answer move on to question number 6 uh, 10 aniline is 10 aniline is a kind of a ring type of structure whenever this ring type of structure was taken uh, what kind of nature it possess in terms of aromaticity either it is aromatic non aromatic anti aromatic homo aromatic which will be the suitable option we need to identify anticipate let's see 10 aniline about uh, first of all in order to explain about a 10 aniline first of all we have to know what is aniline aniline is a, a monocyclic hydrocarbon that contains a maximum number of non cumulated conjugated double bonds uh, non cumulated means not exactly adjacent adjacent and uh, rather you have to go for alternate conjugation must be present then only we can say those are called anilines that should be a ring structure that should be a cyclic one that should contains a double bond and that should not be cumulative that must be conjugated then only we can say aniline okay best example benzene benzene is an aniline with the monocyclic ring and we can say it is aromatic and six aniline is uh, the part of that only 18 aniline 18 aniline is also the part of aromatic ring but if you go with eight and the 10 aniline these are non aromatic in nature if you see 10 and 8 anilines are non aromatic in nature what we are seeing over here 10 aniline is the part of non aromatic in nature by this we concluded the session entire questions got covered from the various domains covered with the uh, with the kind of ipac nomenclature of the various compounds and also uh, complex compounds in terms of inorganic chemistry uh, colors why they are exhibiting colors and uh, what hydrated anhydrous why uh, how extent color change we can notice that part also covered physical chemistry is uh, also mentioned organic reaction mechanism came into the picture in addition to this one uh, we we gone through the various dimensions regarding this uh, chemistry and the uh, informative uh, content is uh, loaded over here hope this is really informative towards your preparation and i'm sincerely requesting to like the channel comment par which part is important for you and uh, share with us parents seriously preparing for the examinations subscribe the channel in order to receive more such updates in the near future thank you very much for your patient listening thank you one and all